Indian Challenger. Award-winning and fast becoming the new standard in this class of bikes called baggers. Badass touring bikes with attitude. So I know what you're thinking, why is the car guy talking bikes? And that's a fair call. Well, let me tell you, I've had bikes my whole life. Lots of them, and I've done lots of miles. I don't claim to be an authority, I'm not a motorcycle journo, and no one's handed me a script. But I've got to tell you, for me, this is very familiar territory. My bike, this Indian Chieftain. I bought this with my own money, it's not a loan bike because I've got to love my bike, I'm a bike guy. Aside from the performance and this drop-dead gorgeous colour, there's a primary reason I love this motorcycle. Its heart and soul is buried in the very foundations of motorcycles. America's first motorcycle company, founded in 1901, building world-class motorcycles. and in its original guise ceased production in 1953, with the last of the Chiefs rolling off the production line that year. Subsequent owners kind of kept the brand alive, but it was only in 2011 when Polaris, a multi-billion dollar American automotive powerhouse who had already created Victory Motorcycles, decided it's time to bring Indian back once and for all. And they had the desire, the financial and the human resources to do just that. Pure Indian motorcycles from the ground up. So now, one of the most iconic, recognised and loved motorcycle brands in the world is well and truly alive. Wrapped in technology and kicking ass. So here we are nearly a decade later and the outcome has become obvious. This Indian Challenger. In my view, straight to the front of the queue in baggers. And you don't have to listen to me, jump online, check out any number of reviews and you see exactly how this thing stacks up. So stay tuned because over the next couple of weeks I want to dive in and I want to show you why I reckon this thing in the real world, my world, your world, is the duck's guts. <laughs>